Hi, everybody. It's Anna. Um, so for those of you who don't know me very well, um, I live on McGill Street. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a writer, I'm a gardener. You can have a look at um, my table here and make sure you have all of the materials that you're gonna need. I mean, the apple is for darning. The cookies are for snacks. <laughs> I just miss so much having people over and like doing this kind of thing together. So to begin with, I thought I could show you some examples of different ways of mending. As I said, I'm going to show you a simple patch method today and a simple darning method today, but they're really not as different as you might think. And the the choice to use one method or the other really depends on the project. You know, I was originally going to say, if you're working in woven fabric, do a patch. If you're working in knit fabric, do a darn. But then I looked at my own garments I'm going to show you today and I'm like, well, I don't follow that rule at all. So let me show you some examples of things. Um, a woven fabric is something like a bed sheet. Or um, if you think about like um, a button down shirt, most of them are made out of a fabric that doesn't stretch very much. So it's woven out of threads that go in one direction and the, the, the threads in the other direction go over and under and, and a, a perpendicular direction. Right, it frays really easily too. It frays easily. So a knit is something like a t-shirt, uh, your leggings or like most athletic material. So these sweatpants is an example of a knit. They come in all different gauges, right? So this is a really, really fine, fine knit thread, but you can see it has a ton of stretch, way more than the woven fabric did. Um, these mittens, you can see the knit a lot more easily. So unlike woven fabric that's made out of thousands of threads going in each direction, knit fabric is one single thread that's connected all the way through. So, patches. I have these much patched sweatpants with lots of different colorful patches. So these ones, the colorful ones, those are made out of a contrasting woven fabric. You can see these brown ones, they're made out of scrap offcut I had from the sweatpants, um, the same material. So that's why it matches so closely. Now, one nice thing if you're using a, a knit fabric for patching is that something like t-shirt material or the sweatshirt material, it doesn't fray the way woven fabric does. So you don't have to finish the seams or turn under the edges of the patch the way you do with a woven patch. So what I'm going to try to show you today is how to do a patch like this with the woven fabric. See, these ones have all been on the outside. I did this one on the inside because it was quite a small hole and it was really close to the pocket and I thought it was going to be really difficult to get a patch in that area otherwise but if I did it on the inside I didn't have to worry about the placement of the pocket so much that's all that's smart because I would have put it on top and gone oh I guess I have a smaller pocket now <laughs> that's smart you I know this is a really common place to have a hole happen because it's at the, the stress point of the pocket, right? You fill the pocket and it pulls at that spot. So that's a repair I've done a lot of. Um, that's something else I want to say is when your clothes rip, don't blame yourself. Don't be like, oh, my butt's so fat. I uh, <laughs> Like probably that's not the reason. It's probably because the clothes were made crappy to begin with. Or like you have a butt and you sit on your butt. Of course you're going to rip there. Like this mending your clothes is not because you did anything wrong you're doing it right um, another way that I would address it sometimes is just by unstitching the pocket and pulling it back and then you put a top patch on and then put the pocket back on and stitch it back down <laughs> this, yes the seam rip is a sewer's best friend this is true very helpful for repair that's a seam ripper so it's it's meant to go this goes kind of underneath the, the where the actual seam is the thread of the seam and then you just pull up and it rips the seams for you it's really handy it's a little bit like a tiny bayonet it is it's very satisfying i have to say so in this case this is a top 
top patch again you can see i did it with machine so it's a very tiny line of stitching not as visible as on the um the sweatpants i just showed you but you see the patch goes under the pocket so what i did was i undid the stitching all along the edge of the pocket really carefully i folded it back i patched the butt of my jeans and then i stitched the pocket back on okay another kind of top patch just to get you excited if you um have a machine Ooh, I like is, that fabric. it's a knee patch yeah you should recognize it marnie this is yours yeah um it goes the whole length of my leg <laughs> So these pants that were like just about to be not wearable because they had so many holes now are my favorite pants because flower pants. Does anybody have any particular questions about the patching so far? I don't feel like it frays too much. Is that okay to just put it straight underneath? What are you actually mending, Michelle? My jeans, which ripped on a nail sticking out of a table. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I've just kind of put it like that on the inside yeah. right now. Okay. But you want to use that stripey, beautiful fabric so that it shows through the ripped part. Is that yeah. right? stitching that you're going to do to hold the patch on is going to keep the patch from fraying. So that's a patch on the inside. Do you see the big basting stitches around the edge? Yes. There's a big basting stitches. You probably want them a bit smaller, how Anna's explaining, okay. so that it holds the patch. And then she would what her suggestion is which is a really good one is that on the outside see where i have like yeah. it doesn't quite so she's saying okay. follow your patch follow your hole yeah and your patch yeah yeah all right awesome i love that that looks really good yeah, yeah. so that's my sheet my sheet then I, see that also has a patch. I had a mulberry fall on my shirt <laughs> I was walking under a mulberry tree and it fell on my shirt and stained it. So I just painted a little piece of white sheet oh. and sewed a patch on my shirt. So I really thank you because I was going to throw it out and it was a really favorite shirt of mine. Oh, so I love that. That's so cute. That's a great example of like taking something that most people would be like, oh, it's ruined. And like now it's even better than it was. I know, right? Yeah. That's what I want. That's wanted. so cute then there's like a story, right? And yeah. that's like storytelling is how we connect with people. And, and then maybe they would be curious about mending and then maybe you could teach them and it like becomes this whole kind of like blossoming thing. Cycle, yeah. 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 And then it's there's less story. clothing in landfills. So. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Really, I thank you so much. Yeah, I wouldn't you. have done it without you doing this. I would have yeah. just let it sit there forever and probably thrown it out and felt really bad about it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. This is going to be a great movie.